The Shapaji Paul Onji Group is a Mumbai-based business conglomerate in India with interests in construction, real estate, textiles, engineering goods, home appliances, shipping, publications, power, and biotechnology. It was headed by Paul Onji Mystery until 2012, when he announced his retirement and his son Shapur Mystery took charge. Shapaji Paul Onji is regarded as one of India's most valuable private enterprises. The promoters of the group are also the largest individual shareholders in Tata Sons, the holding company of the Tata Group. The 2.5 billion US dollars Shapaji Paul Onji Group have two listed companies, Forbes and Company Limited, and Gokak Textiles. Forbes was already listed when bought by Shapaji Paul Onji, though there was speculation in 2006 that group company Afghan's infrastructure would go public via an IPO. The company is known for building some of Mumbai's landmarks around the fort area, including the Hong Kong Bank, Grindley's Bank, Standard Chartered Bank and Reserve Bank of India Building, Bombay Stock Exchange Building and Taj Intercontinental. Apart from these, the company has built a stone palace for the Sultan of Oman in 1971. After the 2008 Mumbai attacks, the company was involved in the repairs and renovation of Taj Mahal Palace in Tower which was severely damaged by the attack. Other notable projects include the Imperial in Mumbai, Jumeirah Lake Towers in Dubai and Ebeen Cyber City in Mauritius. In 2012, Shapur Mystery announced that the group had plans to invest in a deep sea port, an IT park, hydro electricity and construction of roads and night shelters for the poor in West Bengal. History the company was founded as a partnership firm Littlewood Paul Onji, in 1865. The first project was the construction of a pavement on the Jergorm Chapti, followed by being part of the construction of a reservoir on Malabar Hill which supplied water to Mumbai for over 100 years. The company also built the Praburn Stadium in Mumbai and the Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium in Delhi. The Mumbai Central Railway Station was also built by them at a cost of a to the first 1.6 crore. The company was commended by the then governor of Bombay for completing the work within 21 months. In recent years, it has built the Barak Hamba underground station in Delhi and Providence Stadium in Guyana. In 2010, it built India's tallest building, the Imperial, a residential tower in Mumbai. F. E. Dinshaw and Company also had a 12.5% stake in Tata Sons, which came to Shapaji Paul Onji. Indiana, 2001-02 Shapaji Paul Onji took over Forbes Gokak from the Tata Group after winning a takeover battle with the Pawan Kuma Sam Wormal Group. The company was already listed on the BSE when it was taken over and remains the group's only listed entity as of 2011. Shapaji Paul Onji plans deep way to port in Gujarat. Subsidiaries Shapaji Paul Onji Engineering and Construction, Forbes and Company Limited, Sterling and Wilson Limited, Next General Publishing, Afghans Infrastructure Limited, Eureka Forbes. See also, Tata Group, Larson and Tubro. References External links, Official Website